Hey guys, Tim here from PwC Family. In this video, we'll be talking about an uh, Evinru 90 horsepower E-Tech that has vibration problems. The backstory of this engine is we have a catamaran with two twin outboards. They're both 90 horsepower Evinru E-Techs. They both run particularly well, both hit the same RPM, fuel economy, all that stuff. But this one uh, has a vibration most noticeable above the 4000 RPM mark. The higher you went in RPM, the more noticeable it would get. So even at idle, it would still be more vibrating than the other. Throughout the whole RPM range, it had more vibration than the other motor. So we checked the propeller shaft. It was a bit bent, but we straightened it. Didn't fix the vibration, it still had vibration. We checked the flywheels, still had the same vibration. We swapped gearboxes, still had the same vibration. We swapped injectors, coils, everything that we could swap on both engines, we swapped. We even swapped the computers. So everything we checked and swapped. While we were checking all these things, we noticed that there was oil on the side of the engine. This oil wasn't clean at all. It was dry, it was sticky, it didn't happen recently. At first we thought it was an engine cleaner, protecting the engine from corrosion. And then we thought it was someone overfilling the oil. But how is that possible if it's only covering one side of the engine? And then we thought, hang on, what if one of the tube is leaking? I'll show you what I mean. So the oil was covering from here all the way across here. It wasn't on the top or anywhere else. It was just here. These are the three oil injection tubes. We thought one of them might have cracked along the way. So we started looking for leaks or for cracks. So we didn't find anything. So maybe someone repaired it, but the damage might have already been done. So in the back of my, our minds, we were thinking maybe it was cylinder one oil delivery because it was spraying from that area and maybe something went wrong inside where the crankshaft is. So we thought the reed valves might have been um, faulty and were op stuck open, letting oil come out again. So we took the reed valves out and they were perfect. So that wasn't the problem. So at this point, we had the gearbox off and the cylinder head off, and we could rotate the engine freely. So we thought, why not uh, turn it with the impact driver and see if the pistons were making abnormal noises. There was abnormal noises in cylinder one. So we recorded it. Cylinder one was making a faint crunching or scratching sound. The other two were smooth. So we pulled the power head off and checked the engine mounts, they were fine. We pulled the crankcase off and the crankshaft out. Now when we spin the bearings, this bearing here is the top bearing and it's making noise but the most notable part is if I put my hand at the top of the crankshaft and spin it, I get a very faint but noticeable vibration. At high enough RPMs this vibration would get louder and louder. So this leads us to believe that this bearing might be causing some problems. So I've got the two bearings. I've got the one that was originally on there and the new one. Now, instead of putting the new one on and hoping for the best, I wanna see if there's any differences. Like if one spins for longer than the other and we'll check for that first.
So with approximately the same force and a bunch of testing, in conclusion, this bearing, the newer bearing, spins a lot more revolutions than the older bearing. Now, this doesn't explain why we have vibration. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it again, and we're going to see for, look for any inconsistencies in like noise or any unusual noises. So now we're pretty confident if we put the new bearing on and put this engine back together that the vibration will be gone. Now if you have the engine pulled apart like we do, you might decide to do a whole engine rebuild. But for now we're happy putting the engine back together and fixing the vibration. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications.